Hello and welcome to another ArduX tutorial. Today we will be showing you how to create a robot arm um, using some potentiometers and servos. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to include the servo library. This is done by doing hash include chevron left and then servo.h chevron right. Next what we're going to do is we are going to declare some uh, global variables for the servos. This is done by doing this, just typing them out. Um, next, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to also declare the potentiometer pins. So let's go ahead and type those out. So now that we have four servos, four potentiometers, so what I'm doing is I'm going to pair potentiometer uh, in port zero to servo zero servo 1 to potentiometer 1, and so on and so forth. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create some storage variables for the potentiometers. Um, let's keep it simple, and we'll just call it value 0, value 1, value 2, value 3. So let's do that. Next, what we're going to do is we're also going to need the general void setup and void loop protocols. So go ahead and type those in. and void loop. So we have void setup and void loop. Next what we're going to do is we need to attach these servos to particular pins. So in order to do that we're going to go ahead and do the servo.attach. Um, should be like this. So we're going to attach servo 0 to pin 8, servo 1 to pin 9, Servo 2 to 10 and servo 3 through to pin 11. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to use these storage values that we created up here. We are going to get those values by doing an analog read of the potentiometer pins. Um, and this is done by typing in val 0 is equal to an analog read of pot pin zero. Oh. Okay. So after you've done that, you're gonna redo it but for pot pin one, pot pin two, pot pin three, and so on. So go ahead and call this one, two, three, then one, two, after you have set all of that up, you should be able to um, proceed forth with mapping. So now what you're going to do is you're going to create something like this. You're going to create a map uh, so that whatever value you get from the potentiometer, it should relate to the servo. So value 0 is equal to a mapped value of value 0 depending on the lower limit and upper limits of the potentiometer to the servo's lower and upper limits. Our servos generally will go from 0 to 180, but we're going to put it to 179 just so that there's no weird clicking noise uh, because sometimes the servos uh, kind of get messed up if you have it maxed out at 180 or you'll hear this weird clicking noise. But pretty much from here, you're going to redo this, but for each of the other ones too. Go ahead and put that in for val1. So after you have completed your full map set for the potentiometers and servos, you're going to have the servo move to whatever value you get from this. So this is done by doing a write um, servo zero dot right and then we want this value to be whatever value you get from the first potentiometer reading so that's how you do it and then you're going to do it three more times just like this then afterwards we're going to put a little processing delay uh, just so that you know um, we don't break any components, and we give the servo some time to re-adjust based on the number we get from the potentiometer. 
So go ahead and connect your board. I'm gonna upload this onto our board. If you do it correctly, as soon as you press start, you should hear that clicking noise. And then depending on whatever value you get from the potentiometer, you're gonna see some sort of movement one way or the other. And there you have it. And that's how you make and program the robot arm. Thanks again. Um, stay tuned for the next video.